Hey guys, what's going on? Gravender here, and welcome back to another episode of Retro Gaming. We are on the final leg of EVO Search for Eden, and I am, like, extremely, extremely excited. Well, extremely excited and kind of saddened in the same fact. I know there isn't a lot of people that watch these, but I absolutely love this game. Absolutely love it, so let's, let's just jump in here and try to get through it now the only reason I'm sad is because of the fact that I don't want the game to end I don't think this game was long enough to be honest with you I mean really you, you look at it it's it's got a lot of longevity but I don't know I just wish it had been a little bit longer because I like the game so much and I mean, really all we're doing now is we're just devouring stuff to to get to the final portion of this these little guys they jump like crazy they're everywhere they don't they just keep coming back too it's like they don't they don't give up but we're done we're done with that one so we're just going to move on we shouldn't have any issues as far as i can tell with like i don't dying anywhere up to the point where we get to the last portion of this as far as i know there are creatures who can hold things in their front legs called tools be careful with them because they can cause much damage yeah I don't don't need to worry about that right now we're just gonna be going through and devouring stuff no issues here we have some of the best teeth in the game or we have the best teeth in the game so we should just be collecting stuff I mean really that's, that's all there is to this we're just going through collecting stuff eating stuff eating their meat making our way to the next portion I don't know for sure if I mysteriously change when I go into the water yep 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 awesome not we got piranha in here so gotta avoid those little suckers I have no idea how much meat they give off I've never actually tried because they bite ah, they're not worth it only worth 30 it's not really worth crap you know compared to some of the other things that we eat on here I don't I don't understand why we have to change every time that we go in the water on this one either because mammals can swim that's always something that's been kind of in the back of my mind like why why do we have to, to change every single time so you don't really want to get in and out of the water that much because you're gonna be changing so much it's not even funny that little bugger throws stuff at you. How much do they give? Ah, uh, 50. It's not really worth it in the grand scheme of things, you know? To sit and try to harvest these guys. Because there's bigger things to come down the line. Um, I really think they missed an opportunity with this portion to, to make the game last a little bit longer in the sense that it could have been made longer. How much are you worth? Got three of these suckers. Should be able to take them all in one bite. See, 70 is not so bad. Not for something that's like really, really easy to kill. Especially when they're just like jumping off at you. And we just build up Evo points. Now we could probably evolve something. We've got the best jaws. We definitely don't want rhinoceros jaws. We don't need a horn. I mean, we could... It, uh, no, I don't want to extend my neck either. We got the best body. Now, there is a trick in this. I'm not going to do it because it's, it's it sucks once you get all the way there. You can turn into a human. And you walk around with a club and stuff and you can turn into a monkey and all this other stuff. It's just there's certain methods that you can evolve yourself. And I just I don't like it. I'd, I'd rather stay... I'd rather stay exactly where we're at. I mean, I guess we could... I don't really see the point in any of this stuff, though. I mean, we could... Uh, we could have a main. So, really, we're just collecting. There, see, now he just looks really messed up. We've got a, a, a rhinoceros skin, lion-headed, horse-tailed hodgepodge of... of uh, whatever this is this is the reason we had uh, 
the extinction of the dinosaurs so that things like this wouldn't have survived to make it into our day and time. We got a grizzly bear. I think he takes more than two. But he only does one damage. I mean, he's not really hurting us. Let me just kick him. See, he's worth 150. He is absolutely worth killing. It just takes two, two hoof kicks. And that's the easiest way to do it, apparently. So we can't really get close to him. I'm sure if we had an extended neck, but then we'd look like a giraffe kind of hybrid thing, and it'd be like, what is that? You know? That's the point we'd get to. It'd be like, holy crap, what is that thing? Now, him getting close to us is kind of hurting us a little bit, but not a big deal. And we're just collecting meat so we can keep buying horns. So now this is like the bamboo forest. This place is kind of cool because it's got like stegosaurus is in it. Hidden stegosaurus. Whoa! Here comes another enemy! Don't attack us, please! We like to live in peace! Please leave us alone! Uh, yeah. Really? Thank you! I will tell you a secret for your kindness. In the cave at the southern continent, there are strange creatures no one has ever seen before. They evolved with the face of a cat and the body of a rabbit. See, now that's where you find out how to evolve into that face of a cat, body of a rabbit, whatever it was. But I don't really want to mess around with it, to be honest. I mean, it gives you the hint right there on how to change into the human, but now we got horses. They're worth a hundred. They're not bad. You just don't want to get kicked by their hind legs. I mean, that, that first hit's not that bad, but if they, if they buck you, then it's not a good day. But I mean, we're just, we're just racking up points now, so... Which we should be pretty good. It's like 500. 500 for um, horns, so it's not too bad. Now, this is the bamboo forest, actually. The domain of the saber tiger. So we still got some things that have made it through the, uh, the ice age. These guys are worth some pretty good, too. But they hurt. They're just kind of, they're kind of like the grizzly bear a little bit. They hurt, but they're worth killing you know it's not worth just like running through because you've had enough time at this point to evolve yourself up to all the way to the point where you need to be to be able to beat the game as it is domain of the condor hey i saw it i saw a silver shining object like a flying bird i've never seen such a bird are you gonna I know he's going to try and attack me. No? Yep. Now he's going to try and attack me. We don't want, they don't want you on your... They don't want you on their turf is the thing. I have no idea what's up here, but we're going just to kind of be nosy and check it out. There's probably a crystal. We are the amphibians who monitor the plant life. We are pleased to see the plant life increasing. We will continue to monitor the plant life as long as the sky is blue. Now, or before I kill you. Ah, so that's that's all there is up here. Is these little dudes. I wonder if, like, if I kill all of them and eat them if something happens. Ha! I knew there was a crystal somewhere. It's a blue crystal. What's that gonna do? Ooh, yeah! See, you know, that's what I'm talking about. That's why it pays off to kind of explore everything. These games right here kind of set the pace for me later on in life with all the other uh, games that we play. And I like to take my time and just look through stuff just to make sure that I haven't missed anything. Like, some games, you know, you play and it's... It's like you get uh, the opportunity to 
Oh crap, I'm getting hit from all angles here. No! That's bull crap. That is absolute bull crap. But, uh, you know, some of the newer games that you get to play and things like that, you get to break a lot of stuff to get to, like, your new points or whatever. And, like, breaking crates and all this other stuff. And I just like to kill stuff. Cave of Monkey. We are the tribe. We are the monkey human tribe. We can use tools by the power of crystals. We have to keep such crystals in our hands. Oogie. Well, come back here then if you're going to act like that. I mean, we're still at 5,000. 10,000 was pretty friggin' awesome, but apparently we don't get to keep that. Now we get to deal with the monkeys. So they're only worth 50. Are you surprised? This is a special elevator. You can choose the direction. It will take you there automatically. This is a very convenient device. The creature living in the east taught me how to make this. Yeah, the creature in the east didn't teach you how to die, did it? Because you just did. So now we get these elevators. And what you do, if you, if you play the game, you can't figure it out. All you can do is stand on it and push the button up. And you're good to go. I hate these things because they throw rocks and run around and flip-flops and do all kinds of crazy crap that you don't want them to. Let's go up again. Let's see. Then you got that one. It's got a big old friggin' rock it throws at you. And these guys definitely do not give back what they, uh, what they take from you. It seemed the power of the stone circle was sealed by the Yeti's crystal. Oogie. Yeah, good try, buddy. Good try. They tried to take me out, but it didn't work. Ah, crap. He got me anyway. But he just stands there, so I mean, at least you get some of it back, which isn't a bad thing. Keep getting hit by this sucker. It's not gonna be a good day. I hate these guys. Well, see, we avoided that one. You just gotta time it just right so that you don't get hit. That old mother. Let's go down. We've we've seen everything up there is to see. Oh, buddy, that's awesome. And that's another one. Great. But he's gonna die. So. He should have known better. Now we get a fish down here. And this thing will not go down anymore, so we're kind of stuck here now. We gotta go back up, and there's gonna be another one ready to throw that rock at us. And... Oh, this is just a lovely day. Lovely day. See, I was kind of hoping he would have thrown his rock, but he waited. He waited. And I fell right into his trap. See, this one doesn't go up anymore. Or doesn't go down anymore, rather. I don't want to get hit by those things either. I guess we need to go down down. Let's just find the one that goes down down. It's gonna be tricky. I need to eat a monkey too. We're getting pretty low on health right now. That didn't help. Well, I guess we're gonna have to get some more. It's okay. We're still building up. So we're okay. Oh, he couldn't. No, he shouldn't have been able to throw it that far. We got one down here waiting, like hiding from us. That one there is going to throw it at us. Son of a... Now, see, there's nothing down here. So there's like, there's no reason to go down there. 
We've missed something. We had to have missed something here. And the horn's gone, but we built our health back up, so that's a good thing. Can't go down anymore. Alright guys, so this is the point where I'm going to go ahead and just cut things off for a moment and uh, try to figure my way out of this place the way that I need to. Maybe I'm going out. Let's see. Let's check and see. I think there's something you have to do in there though. Then you just can't go in and come out. But if it worked, it worked. If it didn't, then yeah. Alright, so I'm going to cut it here and I'll be back with you as soon as I get done figuring this place out. Okay, so now this seems like it's the place I needed to go to. So we're going to go in, and I'm pretty sure there's a boss fight here. And we're going to call it an episode after we get done with this one. Now this, this is the sad part that we had to deal with in the last episode. But this guy isn't so sad anymore. This is the, the little guy from the last uh, episode. We killed his mom and dad, and now he's not so much a baby anymore. And he's like a big boxer monkey, so... We kind of screwed up, I guess. Who did it? I wonder who came into our sanctuary without permission. No one can damage the Yeti burial ground. Oh, I can hear the sad voices of our ancestors. Daddy! Mommy! Finally, the time has come. We should revenge our Yeti humiliation. I will not waste my time. Our humiliation will end. Ooh, this guy is tough, man. That's like a couple of hits and he... He about took us out there. Yep, 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 yep. I guess it's probably a good thing that we did collect all this stuff because we're going to need it for this guy. Son of a... I got to horn him. I gotta hit him with the horn at least once. Ooh, 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 that's not good. That was close to being dead. This is this fight sucks. This fight absolutely sucks. I gotta I have to get him like backed in a corner so I can bite him. And how he's just like completely oblivious to the horn. I don't, I don't know what to do with this guy. This is... That worked. That didn't. That worked. That's not working. I hope he dies soon. If not, this is gonna suck. That works. Let him come at me like that. Oh. Oh, I'm afraid. Oh, oh, whew. I better not be afraid. I'm gonna die. That worked. Heck yeah. When all else fails, back kick him. And we have lost a ton. A ton of our evo points so before the next episode starts i'm gonna have to go like farm some stuff so we're definitely gonna be farming some things in the meantime but as for right now guys that's gonna be it for this episode we've got one more ahead of us one more little area that we have to conquer and we're done with this game and moving on to the next one in our retro gaming series now remember to like share and comment subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Later, guys.